Assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to NIVS home school hope you all are fine by the grace of almighty I am also fine here I am Kamru Nahar assistant teacher of English national ideal English version school dear students I am going to take your English language class and our today's topic is lesson 6 that means today we will know about the uh, uh, I mean uh, no today we will know the use of am is and are and we will do lesson 3 also let's start our class today so at first we will know the use of am is and are that means when you will use am and when you will use are, uh, I mean are and when you will use is now look at this chart I make a chart for you a box for you uh, if yeah, I mean uh, if you remember this box it will be easy for you it will be helpful now look we always use am after I that means am sits after I I am so we always use am after I so we will write I am okay and then we will use is after he she it or one person or one thing that means we will use is after he like he is she is it is or one person like uh, uh, okay uh, the, uh, suppose there is a boy named Sabil so Sabil is one person so we write here Sabil is and now look one thing so if you talk about one thing we will write is now look if we say a flower so how many flowers are there one flower a flower so it will be a flower is so remember this one we use am after i and we use is after he she it one person or one thing so it will be he is she is uh, it is okay we can also write here it is it is then sabin is that means if you are talking about one person and then uh, if you are talking about one flower or you know one thing it will be is now we will know when we will use are now look we use are after the plural subject like we are you are they are more than one person or more than one thing so we will use are after we after you after they after more than one person or after more than one thing okay uh, let's write so we will use are after we we so it will be we are then there is you so it will be you are you are then now look they they are now if you talk about more than one person uh, like uh, okay let's see the girls the girls now look girls we add uh, we add s here that means there are more than one girl that means this is this is, i mean they are plural so we will write are the girls are now let's think about the things more than one thing so if you think about the more than one thing that means uh, okay now look we write here a flower that means there there is only one flower so if we write here the flowers or you can also write here two flowers or three flowers that means this is the plural form of the flower that means there are more than one flower so we will write here are so what do you understand from this chart we use am after i and when we are talking about only one person or one thing we will use is and when we are talking about more than one person or one thing we will use here are and we use here are after i mean uh, we use are after we you and they and then the then the uh, i mean after the plural subjects and when uh, we are talking about only one person or one thing we will use is and we will use also what uh, is after he she or it okay dear students now we will do exercise 
3. Now look, in your book, you can go to page number 21. Exercise 3, page number 21, I repeat. Now look, page number 21, okay? I am writing here page number 21. Exercise 3. Now look, complete this paragraph with is, am or are. So you will use here is, am or are. So what will you do? We will look at the subject. That means what is given here. Now look, the first one has been done for you. This is Ali. Now look, we are talking about only Ali. All, that means only one person. So we will write here is. Now number two, he dash from Pakistan. Now look, he, it is given here he. So he means uh, only one person. And now look, what do you learn from this chair? We use is after he. Now look, he is. So we will write here is he is from pakistan now look number three he dash 10 years old so just like the previous one just like number two so after he we will write here is so he is 10 years old now look next one both his parents dash doctors both his parents do, uh, dash doctors now look both his parents parents that means father and mother so uh, there's, uh, I mean, uh, there is the plural subject. That means there, his father and mother. That means we are talking about more than one person. So what will you write here? Yes, I know. All of you know the answer. So we'll write here R. So both his parents are doctors. Now we will go to the next fill in the blanks. Number five. They dash very caring. They dash very caring. Now look. It is, uh, I mean, uh, what is given here? They. And what do you learn from this chair? We use are after they. Now look, so it will be they are. So we will write here they are. They are very caring. They look after their parents very, sorry, patients very well. They look after their patients very well. And now the last one, that means number six they dash fond of reading books so just like number five after they we will write here are they are fond of reading books so this is the first part of exercise three and this part is your homework you will do homework number three this is your homework three this part first part now we will go to the next part that means second part now write a few sentences about yourself and your parents. So you will uh, fill up these sentences by giving your own information. Okay, let's think there is a boy named Sabi. So what will you write it? I am Sabi. And now look here, given I. And what will you write here? We know that after I, we always use what? M, I, M. So we will write here M I am. I am from Dash. So we'll write here the name of a place. Okay, I am from Dhaka. We are living here. I mean, and Dhaka is the capital of Bangladesh. We all know about it. Now look, I dash years old. So how old you are? Uh, suppose you were seven years old. So after I, we will write here M I am. Then we'll write here seven. I am seven years old. My father is Dash. So you will write the profession of your own father. Now I'm writing here a doctor. My father is a doctor. And then my mother. And you will write the profession of your own mother. And suppose your mother is a teacher. So we'll write here my mother. And now look after my mother. That means there is only one person. And you all know that after one person, I mean, when we are talking about one person, we will write here is. My mother is a teacher. Teacher. They are dash. So you can write many things here. They are very caring. They are well mannered. They are well educated. And I'm writing here. They are my good friends. So you will do this part by yourself. You will write the, uh, I mean, uh, your own information. 
And this part, this first part is your homework. This is homework number three. Remember, this is homework number three. You will do this part. Only the first part as your homework. So, dear students, that's all for today. I hope you have understood our today's topic. All of you will do your homework and submit it on every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Dear students, all of you study regularly and listen to your parents. See you again. Allah Hafiz.